All right, AP Physics. In this set of notes, we are going to be working on some conceptual questions. And we're going to be looking at number one since we finished the first example. So in this example, we have two parallel plates. So here's one. And here is the other. Okay, we'll make those about the same size, same thickness. One is negatively charged. One is positively charged. And then as well, we have a positive charge in the center and a negative charge in the center. So this is what we call a parallel plate capacitor. We're going to learn more about capacitors in our next unit, uh, which deals with circuits. But for right now, just know that a capacitor is simply two oppositely charged plates that have some spacing between them. So A asks us to draw the electric field vectors between the two parallel plates. So this shouldn't be too bad. So take a moment to draw your own. Okay. So we should know that the electric field always emanates from positive and moves towards negative. So right. And it's going to go straight across. Draw a little faster. It's not that dense. OK. So this is the E field. Then B asks us to draw the force vectors on the two charges. So we know that because the positively charged um, charge is going to be repelled or go in the same direction as the electric field, right? so we're going to draw a force vector going this way, the force electric. And it's going to go opposite and in, with equal force for a negative charge. Right? It's going to go against the electric field. All right, part C says to pick a point of your choosing for the zero point of potential energy, label it u equals zero on the diagram. So I think there are two convenient points to place it, either on one plate or the other, because the two charges definitely have potential energy. They are going to be moving. Um, and because currently they, they aren't in motion, and so that potential energy is going to change into kinetic. So I'm going to choose the positive plate to be u equals 0. Part D asks, is the potential energy of the positive point charge positive, negative, or 0? So we need to consider where our u equals 0, our potential energy of 0 is. And we've placed it at max. Um, at the, the point where there's maximum force, which means that we are going to have the maximum um, potential energy. So any direction that, or the direction that is going to move is away from that, which means that it is moving with the electric field, which means that our potential energy from here to here, we have lost some, so it's going to be negative. So D means for the positive charge, has negative potential energy. Part E asks us, in which direction, right, left, up, or down, does the potential energy of the positive charge decrease? So remember that if we are going to be changing potential energy, it's got to be in the direction of displacement. The force and the displacement have to be in the same direction or anti-parallel to one another. So in this case, remember that if we are moving away from the positively charged uh, plate, that means that we are going to be losing potential energy. So if that's the case, then as our point charge is moving away, it is going to be decreasing. So we're going to say, to the left, the delta u is negative, right? Or we are losing potential energy. 
or F asks us, in which direction will the positive charge move if released from rest? Use the concept of energy to explain your choice. So there are a couple of ways that we can explain this answer. The one that I want us to think about is rolling down a hill. What we can think about is since this field is uniform, the potential energy is going to, and actually since it's negative here, it's going to drop off linearly. Since the force and the electric field are going to be the same all throughout, we're going to get something like this. And here is a position uh, in the x direction. Okay. Um, so we can think about it like rolling down the hill. Since we are going to be losing potential energy, since we lose potential energy, since we lose u, then we gain kinetic energy as it gets faster. So here we can consider right, that conservation of energy relatively simple, but we're now applying it to electricity instead of to gravity. And so this is why I want you to think about our positive charge rolling down the hill. Um, so that might be better to think about the negative charge attraction, but in electricity, in electrostatics, we have repelling forces, repulsive forces. Um, and so we have both the pulls and the pushes. Um, instead of just the earth attracting us down the hill, we also have a push down the hill. So the last one for the positive charge, part G, does your answer to part F agree with the force vector you drew in part B? And since the force vector is pointing to the left, which is the direction in which we are rolling down our hill, we're going to say yes, right? The force vector is repulsive. It's going down. So yes, we are um, gaining kinetic energy as we lose more potential energy. Now, when we're dealing with the negative charge, everything flips because now we have the opposite sign of the charge. So when we have u equals zero, so the positive charge had negative potential energy at its point. Well, our charge is going to flip directions. It's going to have positive potential energy there. So to do the negative charge, d, Potential energy is going to equal, sorry, U is going to be positive. For E, we were wondering which direction does the potential energy of the negative charge decrease? Well, that's going to be the opposite, right? It's going to be to the right. For F, we want to know in which direction does the positive charge move if released from rest? Using the concept of energy, well, now because we flip the direction, it's rolling down the hill to the right. Right, rolling on the electric hill. And then for G, does our answer agree? Well, yeah, right. Our our force was to the right. Okay. In the next video, we'll go over number two.